this is actually really good. I I didn't expect it to be this good. I thought it would create more like AI generated images are all the hype right now. And I want to figure out if they are of any use for designers. So for this video, I'm going to use Dolly to create a logo. I have a brand new Dolly 2 account, which comes with 50 free credits. And I'm going to use every single one of these credits to hopefully create something that is at least usable, like as a base. Then we'll take these images into Illustrator and refine it as a final product. For that, I need some kind of a prompt, like a fictional company to create the logo for. I don't wanna make things too difficult for Dolly because I'm not expecting much from the results. So the idea that I came up with was to mash up an animal with a food to create a fictional company, like, I don't know, reindeer cakes. The reasoning behind this is that since these AI generators create things based on real life stuff, I figure it would be easier for, for the generator for Dolly if we use something that it probably has a lot of knowledge, like animals and food, but I may be totally wrong. I have absolutely no idea. I have here three random generators, one that generates random foods, one that generates random animals, and one that you can enter keywords and it will generate uh, company names. The name of the company won't be all that important, but I figured it is nice to have a company name. So for food, we're gonna go with, okay, cookies, I, I think cookies are a sensible choice and for animals let's see okay an alpaca it's kind of a rough one not gonna lie it's, it's not something that it's super easy but that's what we're going to go with and i don't think we even need to use namelix which is the website for the name generator because like alpacas and cookies, we can only go with Alpa cookies. That's the reasonable choice. So, okay, let's jump right into Dolly. I'm going to close these generators and I'm going to start with something super simple, like a logo of an Alpa alpaca for a company that sells cookies. Okay, okay, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's not so bad, like, it, it creates gibberish text, but it's not bad, I was, I was expecting less, like, this one is reasonable, <laughs> it's not super bad, but it's also not super good, like, it's nothing original, by the way, all the prompts that you input, uh, they are saved here on this sidebar and you can favorite the ones that you like and you can also select a specific image and generate uh, variations from it like for example i'm gonna do it with this one just to see uh, if it comes up with something better i can click on variations and it will generate like slightly different versions of that same image okay that's this is actually really good. I I didn't expect it to be this good. This one is is really good. Like perhaps not like a super original logo, but like it's a very cute illustration. Let's try some different prompts now. Like for example, a logo for a cookie company depicting an alpaca. Okay, this one wasn't all that good as the other one. Like, this is almost something. Like, the face is messed up. I'm gonna try not to use the word cookie just to see what it comes up. Just like a logo of an al alpaca. And I'm gonna try being more specific using some other keywords. For example, a logo of an alpaca. And let's add a modern minimalist logo of an alpaca. Uh, 
it wasn't super good. Like this, this looks like, I don't know, construction. And this one is just like, what is going on with this face for a company that makes cookies? Mm. It's going downhill since we started, man. The faces, man. It just doesn't... Dolly can do faces. No way it can do faces. Like, what cursed thing is this? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna run a few prompts without me interrupting every second. And yeah, I think it, it will look better for the video. Okay, so I found it interesting that it it is sort of trying to give me images like what you would see on something like Dribble or Behance, where it's like one version of the logo on a white background and then another version of the logo on a colored background. That is interesting. Like, you can see that Dolly is learning to create these images from the right sources, which is pretty interesting. Mm. Okay. Now, this is nice. This is really, really nice. I wasn't expecting something this good. There's a hipster vibe, like it's an alpaca with glasses. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it the glasses idea came from. I'm gonna run some variations on this one. Okay, okay, this is looking really, really good. Look at this one. Like, this is the most hipster alpaca that I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this. This one is also really good. It just, instead of an alpaca, it made like a, a goat. Um, I'm gonna run once again variations on this one. This one is looking really, really cool. And like when I say that it is looking really good, it's like it's not looking good from a logo design perspective, but it's looking better than what I expected it would look. Okay, so I, I ran variations on that one and eh, there's nothing really we can use here. Oh my god, this is the most cursed logo I've ever seen in my entire life. Look. <laughs> Look at this. What the f is this? This is super interesting, but what what the hell did we made here? We just we just created the alpaca cookie monster. I'm going to run variations on this one just because just because it is so funny. Oh my Jesus, look at this. Oh my God, what is, this, this looks like, like this is the, the front view. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this one kind of looks cute. This one is just a giraffe. This one looks like the mashup of a giraffe with a toilet seat. No, oh, I clicked the wrong button. I was going to favorite and I just ran new variations. I'm afraid of what we'll see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? This this just looks like two dogs. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> At romp name you know what these guys look like pokemons logo of an alpaca eating a cookie okay okay we're, we're back on track um uh, this one looks really good like this is a very cute alpaca it looks like it is eating cheese instead of a cookie like i don't know why dolly made a square cookie but this one looks really, really good. I'm gonna favorite and I'm gonna run some variations. The variations never look 
really good. Look at this one. This is just Pikachu. Dolly is making Pokemons. And like this one is just really intensely eating the cookie. It's like eating with intensity, you know. <laughs> What happened here? Oh my god. This is like an alpaca straight out of my nightmares. Like what happened to these eyes? Do alpacas have horns? Alpacas don't. Oh, okay. They don't have horns, but they have... They have like these pointy ears. Okay, okay. I can see that. I can see that. This one... This one looks like a 90s logo. Okay, now we just got like police badges. This feels like a like the mascot of a police department because it's like it, it looks like it is chewing a padlock and he's saying like I'm going to arrest you. And this one just straight up has three eyes. What in the name of Christ? Okay, okay. Hear me out. This one is pretty damn good. Like this one, this one is actually really good. Everything, the aesthetics, the colors, everything. This one is really, really good. It's like our best contender so far. Okay, we're, we're improving here. We are improving here. Like, this is nice. I can see these as a logo. Like, I would get rid of this stuff here okay like for the first time variations are good these ones are nice like overall this is looking like really good if if these words made any sense that would be looking really nice like nice colors nice text nice font this one is also like the detail perhaps not for a logo like perhaps this is too much detail for a logo like thinking about colors specifically like the shading and stuff but i can definitely see this being simplified like refined for a logo and it totally working okay like it, f it feels like it is somewhat improving <laughs> like this one looks like an alpaca had a baby with a wolf this one is looking really good like this one is like an alpaca that had a baby with a dog I appreciate the effort of trying to write the bakery's name. You remember, you remember this? This is the very first prompt. I'm gonna run variations on you again. Okay, we're we're on we're on Halloween vibes now. We just have like a vampire alpaca. I'm gonna go to favorites. I selected quite a few favorites, but I'm pretty sure I already have my personal favorite, which is this guy here. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the image that I selected and I'm gonna refine it in Illustrator. I'm not gonna overwork it. I'm not gonna do much because the objective of this video was to see how far could we push Dolly into creating something that was already good. And after I'm done in Illustrator, I'm gonna tell you my considerations. What did I think of the process? If I think it's worth it or not. Okay, so let's jump into Illustrator and finish this creation process until we have uh, the final product.
So, can Dolly make logos? Sort of, kinda, I don't know. It felt like it was really hit or miss. Some results were really, really bad. Some results were kinda okay. But I don't think we should see these AI generators as tools that will do your job for you. Like they are collaborative tools. They are there to help you, to give you a starting point, not to do your job for you. Because first, even when Dolly generated good images, I think you still need to be a designer and have the knowledge of a designer to spot these good images, to know what images can be turned into good logos and what images cannot. And second, even when you find these good images, you still need the knowledge of the software to import these images and refine them because they are very rough. They are in no way ready to use as soon as they leave Dolly. You still need to have, you still need some knowledge of design to refine them and turn them into a final product. So do I think it's worth it to work with Dolly? Well, if it was free, I would say yes. Given that you have to pay, I don't think it's worth it because you guys saw that we had a lot of bad stuff and I don't think it's worth to spend your money on the random chance that you will get a prompt to work. I think you're better off just collecting references from Tribble, Behance, Logopond, even Pinterest and Shutterstock. Because a lot of the images that were generated by Dolly, they just felt like stock images. Maybe if there's some AI generator specifically focused on design or logo design, maybe that will work better. But as it is right now, I don't think you should be spending your money on Dolly specifically for logo design purposes. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you will also like this one that is on the screen right now. If you want to know how to support the channel, everything is in the description below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.